animation and I don't really get along very well. And that's not necessarily to the fault of animation itself, but I'm just bad at it. I guess I'm a very impatient person and after spending like four hours on a single frame, I'm just like, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I, this is taking too long. But every single time I've tried to make an animation, I have like just given up within three hours. So um, needless to say, I don't consider myself very good at animating things. Um, but today I think I'm going to try and trick my brain into forcing myself to do an animation. I've been wanting to do an animation of something for so long and uh, every time I try, I, as I said, I just get so impatient. Um, but today I think I'm gonna try to, since I'm making an actual video about it, force myself to make one. So um, yeah, so what I'm gonna be going for here is just a simple little like walk cycle animation, something like, uh, you know, just a character walking forward towards the camera, just sort of like an uh, infinite infinite loop type thing, um, just to kind of get myself into the animation process, I guess. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's what I'm gonna be attempting to do today. I've got myself a freshly brewed cup of coffee, and um, yeah, with that, I think we should just go ahead and get started with this. So essentially what I did here was I scoured the internet for some sort of like thing I could use for a reference, and I finally settled on one that was called something like uh, Angry Man Walking or something like that, Angry Fit Male. I'll have a link to the video in the description. It was a YouTube video, um, and basically I just tr sort of traced over that. I did add a few of my own like creative liberties, like I made the muscles a little bit bigger because, you know, or I made like the arms a little bit thicker because the character I imagine going on this uh, with this kind of walk um, is a little more muscular. But um, yeah, so I basically found uh, like so, like a sort of like intimidating walk, um, just something you know that would command a little bit of respect or something if you were to see that this kind of person walking up towards you. Uh, and I basically just traced over that for the most part because I don't necessarily fully trust myself to be able to draw an entire um, an entire person like an entire walk cycle from scratch. Um, but yeah, so it was pretty easy. It was it, it took me like I think two maybe three hours uh, in total. But um, overall, overall, I do think that it went really well. And um, but the uh, the arms in particular, I uh, I sort of made the arms swing up a little bit more um, in there in the walk, so you can see that. And I honestly had a little, had a lot of fun. It was a little it was kind of um, it was a kind of like a learning process of like learning how the body would look uh, from a front-facing perspective. I pretty much knew exactly what it would look like from the side, um, but it's a little bit difficult getting the perspectives of the legs uh, to look right when uh, in, in sort of a walking, um, walking motion uh, from the front. So uh, that, was definitely, that was definitely a good thing for me to learn, and um, overall I am very happy with the overall outcome of this. And uh, yeah, so this is the is the final product, and overall, I'm very very satisfied with it. I think it I think it looks really good. It's a little bit uh, choppy, or um, you know, the size the shapes don't exactly match up perfectly, um, and it's definitely not a perfect loop. But overall, for my very first animation, I do think it looks very very good. And normally, I could just call it here and say that that's about it. But uh, luckily for you guys, since I love torturing myself, we're going to, uh, to put a put an actual character over this base, and uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. That's probably gonna take me another like 40 hours, but you know, it, it'll be worth it. I <laughs> I hope. Um, so yeah, I'll get started on that, and you guys can just sit back and relax while this goes. Now before we get into this, guys, uh, YouTube has actually updated the like button, and it has it now has an animation, so uh, why don't you go and give that a test, and while you're down there, consider subscribing if you're not. Uh, over like 98% of you aren't subscribed, uh, so definitely, if you're enjoying this video so far, please consider subscribing. It doesn't cost you anything, and it very much helps me out. Um, but anyway, thank you for considering, and uh, let's get back into it. All right, so naturally, we can't have an Aaron Does Art video without me making some sort of mistake, so 
Um, I have, uh, I did mess up the recording a little bit at the beginning and something messed up. I don't really know what happened, but I'm having to use what I can from the, from the, uh, recording. So this is towards the end. Um, but as you can see, I, uh, if you're, if you're unfamiliar with who this character is, this is, uh, one of my characters, Paradox, and he's one of my, uh, villains that I've created. And um, naturally, this uh, this this part of the animation process took quite a bit longer than the first part, and um, I've been missing a bunch of upload marks that I probably should have hit. Um, and so I've been feeling really bad about missing my uploads, but I've really wanted to to actually get this done um, and just see how it looked. So. Um, yeah, this is, as I said, Paradox, and basically what I'm doing is kind of the same thing as before where I am tracing over, um, tracing over the, the guidelines that I made before, and um, I use uh, a little bit of a simplified design uh, just to make it a little bit quicker, and I decided not to try and color it. I just wanted to, you know, dip my feet in the water of, um, in the waters of animation, I guess you could say. But um, overall, I'm pretty, I'm pretty satisfied with how this, uh, with how this uh, went, and um, we'll see how it looks. So this is the finished product, and one thing that I did notice about it is that it's a little bit stiff, and he does, he has some sort of like um, pauses, I guess, in his uh, sort of walk cycle, and um, I think that's uh, to the fault of me not really doing very well in showing movement in his legs. Uh, as a character, he wears loose pants, um, sort of like sweatpant kind of uh, things. And so um, I was having, I was struggling with showing like uh, sort of depth in that. And so I think that's where the fault lies in sort of being a little bit stiff. So what have we learned today or, or over the past two weeks or however long it's been? Well, I definitely learned that animation is very, very time consuming. And while my animation that I did today was definitely no uh, Jaden Animations, uh, Gilded Guy, or uh, Ice Cream Sandwich, uh, I definitely do think that I could definitely do some stuff with animation if I did a little more practice, had a little more experience with it, I guess. Um, but overall, I, like I said, I am very satisfied with what I was able to uh, accomplish, especially for my first animation. Um, I, I'll definitely try um, to make make some more without sort of use, using a reference. Obviously, I do want to use a reference just to like be safe, but um, I'm gonna try and build up my, my skills and maybe I'll do another animation video later down the line when I get a little bit better at it. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. Hopefully, uh, hopefully this was entertaining for you guys, and um, I definitely, I definitely got some fun out of it. So uh, with that, I will be out of here. So uh, subscribe if you haven't. Leave a like on the video if you liked it. A dislike if you didn't. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.